the case number, the subject of the request, its current status, the resolution, and if denied, the reason for the denial. If approved, the timeline for the device's installation will also be available, giving New Yorkers a clear understanding of when they can expect these vital safety measures to be put in place. This increased transparency will not only make it easier for New Yorkers to follow the progress of their requests, but will also ensure that our city's agencies remain accountable to the people they serve. By making this process more open and more accessible, we can help foster greater trust between the community and our government while ensuring that traffic control devices are implemented in a timely manner. I believe this bill will be a significant step forward in addressing some of the frustration and confusion that so many people feel when navigating the current system. It is my hope that with intro 468A, we can create a more transparent, efficient, and effective process for ensuring the safety of our streets. Once again, thank you, Chair Brooks Powers, uh, for bringing this important legislation for a vote. I look forward to continuing to discuss how this bill will get implemented swiftly and just overall creating safer streets for all New Yorkers. Thank you. I will now ask the committee clerk to conduct a roll call vote on the legislation. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote committee on transportation infrastructure. Proposed introduction 468A, Chair Brooks Powers. I vote aye. Congratulations, Councilmember Williams. Rivera. I vote aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Congratulations. De La Rosa. Thank you. Farias. I vote aye. Narcisse. Aye. Juan. Banks. Aye, and congratulations. Ariola. I vote aye, and congratulations. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Just one. Meeting is now adjourned. She has a job now where she kind of um, does like programming.